Starting with 2018 and newer FCA models, a secure gateway module has been implemented to prevent unauthorized access to the vehicle's network, which could put vehicle systems and customers at risk. This secure gateway limits users to only reading DTCs and viewing live data. If you need to clear an OEM fault code or perform bi-directional control and special functions like resets, relearns, routines, calibrations, you'll need to unlock it. Hi, I'm Eli, and today's video covers everything you need to know about accessing the FCA Secure Gateway with Innova Tools. Now, before accessing the FCA Secure Gateway, here's what you're going to need to prepare. One, a compatible tool. Two, an AutoAuth account. And three, consistent Wi-Fi connection. First, at Innova, we offer three diagnostic tools that support this function. The 7111, the SDS50, and the SDS43. The 7111 supports SGW access starting from software version v1.90.08 or higher. The SDS requires firmware version v23.02.01 or higher. And the SDS43 requires firmware version v23.05.18 or higher. Now, you can check your tool version in the settings. If you're still using an outdated version, updated now, it's completely free. If you're unsure how to go ahead and do that, check this out for a step-by-step -step tutorial. That'll get you going. So next, you're gonna need to register an AutoAuth account. AutoAuth is an independent service that partners with OEMs and tool providers to manage and authorize diagnostic sessions. Visit AutoAuth website and register an account. We've included the link in the description below. Check that out. Okay, so I'm gonna do this now. Select register, okay. Fill out the user sign up. okay. Form. Okay, we got that moving. That's great. Um, agree to the auto auth terms and conditions. Now, once finished, click sign up and a verification email is going to be sent to you. Confirm it and you're ready to log in. Next, you want to register your service center or yourself as an independent technician. Choose a plan that best fits your needs. Enter your shop details, provide payment information, all that good stuff, and just Please note that AutoAuth charges an annual fee based on the plan that you select. Now, if you're already part of a registered service center, just ask your manager to invite you using your username. And that's it. Now, register your Innova tool. To do this, you're gonna need your tool's GUID or serial number. Now, you can find this information in settings by scrolling down to the version information. All right, so you're gonna look for the line labeled GUID slash serial number. In the auto auth side menu, go to manage tools. All right. Uh, click add tool, enter your name, select the Nova Electronics as a manufacturer. Now you're going to choose all models as the model. Now carefully enter the GUID or serial number. If you're registering with the SDS 43, you can do this on your phone. Uh, you can copy the GUID from the RS Pro app and paste it for accuracy. Now, since I'm using a laptop, I'm going to go ahead and enter, enter that manually. Now, Give me a second, that's kind of a long number. Now, once you've entered the information, click Add Tool to complete the registration. Uh, now that you've got everything set up, let's uh, move on to accessing the FCA Secure Gateway. Now, I've got the Innova tools with the latest versions on AutoAuth account, and I've already registered my tool with AutoAuth. Now let's unlock the secure gateway starting with the Innova 7111. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to connect the 7111 to an FCA vehicle. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Okay. Now, you need to ensure that your tool is connected to the internet and has a stable internet connection. If you're not connected, go to settings, scroll down, Wi-Fi settings, and select your Wi-Fi network. Now, on the home screen, select OEM diagnostic or workshop tools. If this vehicle has an SGW module, you're gonna see a prompt to log in. So, okay, there it is. Now, enter your AutoAuth login credentials. Great, now press continue and wait a moment. Once successful, you have SGW authentication to proceed with diagnostics. Now, unlocking the FCA Secure Gateway with the SDS50 and then the SDS43 works a little bit differently. So 
I'm going to show you guys with the SDS43 for demonstration or to demonstrate the process, but remember that the steps are ba and they're basically the same for the SDS50. Now, first thing you're going to do is you're going to connect your SDS43 to an FCA vehicle. Let's get that taken care of. Okay, I'm going to set this down for a second. <clears throat> then you're going to open up the RS Pro app on your phone and you're going to pair it with the SDS43. Now also ensure that your phone's Wi-Fi is on and that you're connected. Now you're going to need to maintain these three connections throughout the process. Connection to the vehicle, to the RS Pro app, and to the internet. On the SDS43, select the function that requires an unlock gateway. So let me go ahead and do that now. For example, oh, let's go with erasing OEM codes or using workshop tools. So, Okay, now this prompt is gonna go ahead and show up to guide you. Now, in the RS Pro app, open up the side menu and go to My Tools. Select Secure Gateway Access. You're gonna enter your auto auth credentials and you're gonna log in. Now, once the unlocking process is successful, the SDS43 will automatically jump back to the previous screen. As a quick reminder, the process for unlocking the SDS50 is similar to what I've just shown you here with the SDS43. And that's how you successfully access the secure gateway using Innova tools. However, this unlock status is impermanent. For security reasons, the SGW automatically locks after a few minutes of inactivity. In the case that you unplug the DLC or disconnect from the RS Pro app, you're gonna need to restart the process. If you run into trouble unlocking, here are a few things you need to check. Account details. Make sure that your username and your password are correct. Tool registration. Double check that your tool's GUID is registered with AutoAuth. Since it's a long code, ensure that every character is accurate. Connection. The DLC must be connected during the diagnostics and a stable Wi-Fi connection is essential. For the SDS43 and the 50, ensure that the tool is connected to RS Pro via Bluetooth. Now, be sure to maintain these connections throughout the entire unlocking process. Now, if everything seems correct, but you're still having trouble, try the following steps. Disconnect and reconnect the cable to the DLC. For the 7111, turn the tablet screen off and on by pressing the power button. For the SDS43 and the SDS50, repair it with the RS Pro app. Now, check your Wi-Fi connection or try disconnecting and reconnecting it. Then try giving it another go. If the issue persists, pro.repairsolutions.com offers helpful articles that may address your case. Alternatively, please contact our technical support team for further assistance. For inquiries related to AutoAuth accounts, shop, or tool registration, please reach out to AutoAuth directly. And that's everything you need to know about the FCA Secure Gateway and how to access it using the 7111, the SDS50, and the SDS43. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you again soon.